Hi everybody and thank you for watching uh, this uh, video. Um, I am Case. I'm uh, one of the founding fathers of Viva Scandinavia and I would like to share some tips and tricks on this product, um, our beautiful Viva Scandinavia Recharge. Um, because we have, uh, we have been sending out the, a lot already uh, and we're getting uh, the first feedbacks already from uh, consumers around the world. And I must admit, uh, I could have used those tips and tricks as well the first time I got it. Because the first time I got this product, it was without instruction manuals. We knew what we were wanted to bring, um, what kind of innovations should be in the product, but how to use it, it's still a, it was still a, a bit of an adventure. Anyway, I do know as well that most men don't read instruction manuals, maybe they are willing to watch this video. First tip and trick, how to open it. And that is a mistake I made as well. I was like, okay, let's unscrew this. And oh, oh my God, it's very tough. Oh. No, it needs to have air flowing in. Why is that? Well, we wanted to make the product leak proof and then you have to have it completely airtight. How do you open it? There are two ways. One is by flipping this until it clicks. It really has to click because when you click it, it will, the click is the opening of the drinking hole. Yeah. This is also a child lock. Yeah. My three year old, he likes to play with stuff. Okay. If I find him playing with this, it's still okay. No worries. No hot fluids coming out. But if he clicks this, then we are in trouble. So it's kind of a child lock, but also if you toss it in your bag and something bumps into it, no worries, no hot fluids are coming out. Uh, um, so it's an extra safety. Second is to unscrew the top. And then of course it's very easy to unscrew the filter. If you don't do either these two ways of opening, you will be bending the filter. You will completely destroy it. It, it can take a couple of times, but then it, you will be, you will bend it and you need a spare, a spare part. Okay, so now we know how to open, but we also know how to close it, yeah? So if your tea brew is ready and you want to lock it and stop it uh, from infusing, you have to push this down. Same thing, either you take off the lid and do it very uh, slowly, or you put the lid on, screw the lid on, but keep the drinking loop open. Second tip, there are two lines inside of uh, the thermos. Yeah? The one below is when you want to prepare iced tea because you will have the ice cubes coming in later after the brew is ready. Um, and the second line here is if you want to make hot tea. Yeah, you can put, put more hot fluids, or hot water in it. If you want to prepare another tip, if you want to uh, make iced tea, you need to have more tea in it. Yeah? Because of uh, the ice cubes, um, it is uh, the brew is colder, um, so it needs to have more flavor in it. If you want to have some good advice on how to brew your perfect cup of tea, please visit our blog. We also have a blog on how to clean your teaware um, and what kind of temperature your water needs to be. Because don't use boiling water, use boiling, well, water um, 80 to 90 degrees Celsius. Um, you just pour it in, you put your tea in, loose leaf. You can use a measure spoon from Viva, obviously. And if you want to track time, we also have this beautiful oak uh, tea timer from Viva Scandinavia to help you uh, and make the perfect brew. 
If you want to prepare coffee, I'm not a coffee expert. Uh, we are completely into tea, but for the recharge, we made a small exception uh, where it's also possible to make coffee. Yeah, we have the pro filter in some recharges. Make sure that uh, to check if you have a pro filter or not. If you have a pro filter, put in your coffee and um, steer it for four or five minutes before you press it down. Very important, um, let the brew um, and the hot water, uh, well, the hot water and the coffee um, turn into a beautiful cup of coffee. Again, open the lid or take off the top lid, press it down and you're ready to go. If you have more questions, please contact us on our Facebook page or send us a small email and we will take care of all the further questions that you have. Thank you again for backing up our project. Uh, I hope in the future we can also count on you again um, if you come with fantastic innovations. Uh, so. Thank you again from uh, from um, also from Pang, who is the, the owner of Viva Scandinavia, and um, hope to see you, talk to you uh, maybe in the future. Take care. Bye bye.